Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our September Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. So if you guys want to see what we got in our bags this month as well as a makeup look slash tutorial, then make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my beauty YouTube family yet, then please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. Also, don't forget to comment and let me know if you guys like the look that we'll be creating. Let me know at the end of the video if you guys have tried any of the products that we'll be mentioning today. With that being said, let's get into it. Don't give us the paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the nice year. This video is sponsored. It is not being paid. Products were gifted on behalf of Ipsy Open Studios for review. Timestamps, disclaimers, as well as any other FTCs will be down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out in case you guys want to know more. As always, reviews and opinions are 100% honest and authentically me because I am me. We are all unique in our own way and what products may work for me still may not work for you. So always keep that in mind, guys. If you do want to purchase any of the products mentioned today or even if you want to get a Ipsy subscription, you guys can check the description box down below again. I am not an affiliate with Ipsy Open Studios. I just get PR every month. Now let's get into our Ipsy unboxing. So we have our Glam Bag and our Glam Bag Plus. If you guys don't know, the Glam Bag retails for $13 a month. You get five sample size products. Once in a while, you may get a full size product. So keep that in mind with this subscription. The Glam Bag Plus is $28 and it comes with five full size products. Now, both subscriptions do come with its own bag every month. You can use these bags for whatever you want to, to store your makeup in, for traveling. You can use these at home to store your pencils in, like little pencil cases. I just think it's so cute and you get a different bag every month, so really cool. First, we'll get into our theme of the month and then we'll get into what products we got in each bag. And then, of course, our makeup tutorial and little review on the first impressions of these products. The theme for this month is You Got This. It says, sometimes you just need a reminder. As the CEO of your world, embrace every challenge with confidence from nailing your eyeliner to acing your next project and watch yourself level up. On the inside, it says new groove. There's nothing like the change of seasons to spark your creativity and inspiration is all around you. Dip into an unexpected color palette, experiment with runway ready makeup looks and discover new ways to express your show stopping style. Love the theme of the month. So let's get into these bags. So for our Ipsy glam bag, which is this one right here, this is the bag of the month. I guess it's like a whole holographic theme going on and I absolutely love it because this bag is completely holographic. I absolutely love it. Look at all the fun colors, purples, greens, pinks. It's just a whole vibe. I have seen some bags that didn't look that good, but so far all my bags, I pretty much love them. Also stay tuned because I know we're gonna get a lot of these bags because we are on their PR list. And I will be hosting giveaways on Instagram. If you guys don't know, I am going to be hosting my 1K giveaway soon. It's a huge giveaway. It's going to be filled with three separate giveaways. So again, stay tuned for that. Lots of goodies there. Of course, we have our little Ipsy logo on the zipper. It's purple. And y'all know me. I'm a purple, blue. And I tend to gravitate towards pinks, but it's not my favorite color. But all those colors... Are just that's that's my vibe right there if you guys already know so these bags were it this month you can like wipe this clean if you need to if you get makeup on it the inside is fabric so just keep that in mind but it should be washable it feels like that type of material also excuse my nails we need to get them redone and i don't want anybody saying anything so i just put that in this video to let y'all know we will be getting them done leave my nails alone <laughs> now on to our five products in the bag so the first product we have is this baby right here and this is the gold fading md problem tired eyes solution bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate what i'm guessing is it is a eye cream basically this is how it looks and we did get gold fading md in our last 
Ipsy Glam Bag as a sample as well. I believe it was their Vital Boost Moisturizer. I do currently have a lot of skincare in use, so I won't be using this very soon. But as soon as I do, I will be using all the Gold Fade In products together, all the same brand products together. And then I will update you guys either here on YouTube or on Instagram. So follow me there if you're interested at Midnight Moon Makeup. This doesn't really say too much on what it does. I mean, of course, on the front and the title, it says it. It's for dark circles, problem, tired eyes. So if you have like a lot of those issues when you wake up in the morning, you get those really dark under eye circles, then this is probably going to be for you. I personally don't get that too much so we'll see how this works when I do decide to use it and it does seem like it has some good ingredients it has some jojoba seed oil we have some glycerin for moisturization some hyaluronic acid to help plump and just make everything look a little bit more youthful we also have some seaweed extract some grapefruit peel oil some red tea leaf extract lots of good stuff in here there's there's some more in here but i don't want to go too deep into it until we actually start using these but just so you get a little gist of what's in this and maybe what ingredients that you like the next product we have is this baby right here and i did use this already so i will have a clip in here for you guys um, on how the application goes on this is the Sophia and Mabel I Woke Up Like This Skin Perfecting Primer. This is what it looks like. And if you guys know Subbox Lover, I love to watch her. She does a bunch of beauty unboxings and subscription unboxings. I mainly watch her for the Ipsy and BoxyCharm unboxings. I actually just recently watched her Ipsy unboxing. She got the same variation as me and she used this primer and she actually said that she thought it was like the smashbox cosmetics the original photo finish primer which we got in our last ipsy glam bag for not last month but the month before that i honestly absolutely agree with her this stuff is amazing i love the smashbox cosmetics the original photo finish primer i've loved this when i first started makeup and i love it to this day and this says our snm skin perfecting primer smooth skin and blurs the look of pores so your makeup lasts for hours to come uh, I do have to say, like I said, it is pretty close to the Smashbox one. I do have to agree with that. But I do want to say when you first put it on, it does have that silicone -y feel like the Smashbox one. But once it really lays down and you let it sit for a second, it starts to feel like not as silicone -y. It's not as slippery. It does also feel a tiny bit water-based. Um, like it's a mix maybe somehow. Feels really good though, no problems with it and I absolutely love it so far. This is cruelty free and it can be used under makeup or alone. The next product we have, which I'm gonna use right now because it's not really a makeup face skincare product or anything like that, it's more of a body product. This is the Hemp's The Secret Is In The Seed Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Herbal Body Butter. It's meant to hydrate and refresh, and it's enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. This is what it looks like, and I guess this is more like a deluxe sample size because I honestly feel like this is pretty big for a sample. It says you can use it for extremely dry skin, such as elbows, knees, hands, feet, or you can use it as a daily body moisturizer. It's paraben free, gluten free, cruelty free, 100% vegan, and thc free this is how your texture looks very thick and creamy absolutely love it out the packaging even being that far away from it it smells amazing i can smell it right away it is still lightweight i would say at least for my skin but you can feel the richness the thickness of it which is something i personally like i like body products that are like heavy and rich and thick I don't like them for my hands or my face. So this is perfect for my hands. I still think it would do wonders on my body too. So we will find out when I do my post shower uh, routine. But, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. You guys need to try this. Fourth product in here is this baby. This is the Lottie London Power Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. Now I've also been dying to try Lottie London. But this is how it looks another holographic vibe i'm loving loving 
and this is in the shade golden hour this is a loose eyeshadow i did swatch this it's very buttery and creamy but again we will be using this later on in the video so just stay tuned for that this is how it looks i don't want to dump it over because it will fall out and it comes with this like little packer thing so you don't lose all your makeup it looks very crumbly but when it goes onto the skin it's very light and everything blends so beautifully i think you could even use this as a highlighter which that would be gorgeous i would love to see that but i'm not gonna be using this that today i will just be using it as a lid color now our last product is this baby and this is the basic beauty lipstick in full for you this doesn't really say too much on it except that it's cruelty free and what i mean by that it doesn't say if it's shiny it's supposed to be matte um satin anything like that we have tried basic beauty before not from ipsy subscriptions but from boxycharm subscriptions they sent over their gel duo liners in one of the boxes i received and i absolutely loved those lip liners they were absolutely amazing and then i did also get to try a eyeshadow primer which i personally didn't love that much i'm not a huge fan of very sticky tacky eyeshadow primers i like laying my base down with concealer so that's just a personal preference but i did keep it to try it a few more times since we only used it like once or twice to see if i can work with it a little bit more and see if i like it more but this is the lipstick which i should love because i love lipsticks and i don't think you can ever really go wrong with the lipstick gorgeous modern simple and beautiful and then this is the color we got i have not done a red look in so long so I'm super excited because I'm definitely going to be using this today. So that was our last product out the Glam Bag. So now we're going to jump into our Glam Bag Plus. Also, I do want to note that we did get two full-size products in our Glam Bag. So keep that in mind if you are getting your Glam Bag. Now going into our Glam Bag Plus, the $28 a month with the five full-size products. We have the holographic writing of our theme this month you got this and this beautiful purple bag absolutely love it the first product we're pulling out is this and this is the clarity rx brighten it 10 percent lactic acid solution it's made to gently exfoliate and brighten skin this is what it looks like now, I personally love lactic acid. I do use AHAs, BHAs, salicylic acid, glycolic acids. Of course, you don't use them all at the same time. Um, if you do wanna hear a video on that, then let me know. I will have a separate video on how to use your skincare, what not to use together, and all that good stuff. If you're a skincare head like me, especially if you're acne prone like me, I like to do videos like that for you guys. But lactic acid is actually one of the gentlest, gentlest, exfoliators out there sensitive skin can even use this i personally don't have sensitive skin i have resilient oilier combo skin so do keep that in mind but i can't wait to use this and i this does have a little number two on it so i'm guessing this can be used as a part of their skincare line like if you decided to buy all the products at once or it just tells you also what step to use it in your routine this isn't a wash off uh exfoliant like i've seen most liquid exfoliants like this you put it on after cleansing and then you apply your corrector or a moisturizer as needed and then spf 30 is recommended to use if you're using it in the morning i guess this kind of acts like a toner at the same time i'm really not sure i would have to look it up a little bit more but there's only two ingredients purified water and lactic acid so dope dope and just so you know Lactic acid is an AHA. The next product we have is this. And I was looking up on the websites to see if I could find these products. I didn't see this one. There was actually two products, but I don't remember which one was the other one that I couldn't find. So I'm guessing these are maybe new launches or maybe limited edition. Uh, so these, the ones that I can't find the links for won't be linked down in the description box. But if you guys do find it ever or if this video goes out and you end up finding it then please link it down below for everybody to see this is the full ritual magnetic balm on first just looking at it i thought it was either a lip balm or a mascara and i was completely wrong just to show you up close this is what it looks like it has the holographic packaging on the inside 
and the brown is giving fall vibes this is cruelty free as well it doesn't really say too much about the product and we got the shade second nature this is a lip balm lip balm it's a hybrid product so it's a lip balm slash lip gloss i've gotten stuff like this before and honestly they're really cool because you can use these alone you can use it as a gloss whatever you want to do this is the applicator it has the little indent on the middle so you can get as much product as you want out to really get everything on your lip right away it smells like kind of tea like and fruity i can't really pinpoint it but it smells so good so good the first ingredient is squalene which is really good for moisture hydration uh, it does also have let's see here sunflower seed wax and sunflower seed oil we have rapeseed oil ethyl vanillin which i'm not exactly sure what that is but from what it sounds like it could be vanilla and that's kind of what i smell as well next product i'm pulling out the bag is this baby and this is the gloss modern excuse me if i'm saying that wrong clean luxury collection clean luxury hair mask this is so little i have no idea i do not speak french that's what it sounds like it is i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but this is what it looks like i love hair masks i do have a lot of hair care in use as well so i will be using this quicker than my skincare but it won't be right away this is cruelty free and it says this is a resplendent moisture treatment hair mask for instant gratification and sorry worthy shine use weekly or daily and leave on hair as long as desired rinse get gloss apply to washed hair for five plus minutes or even overnight rinse siest magnifique i don't know how to say that <laughs> but i'm excited to use this it sounds very uh luxury and sounds like it could work good so we'll see i also like the fact that you can use this overnight i haven't seen too many hair masks that you can actually use throughout the night um so like i said we'll see we'll see how it goes the fourth product in our bag is this baby this is the yc collection makeup brush set i'm not exactly sure what set it doesn't say it just says yc collection gorgeous black and pink though going on it comes with the three brushes you have what looks like two eyeshadow brushes a blending brush more of a packer brush and then you have like this brush which i guess you can use this for highlight i've used stuff like this for highlight because it's not completely round um, so I would say highlight or blush, maybe even contour, if you know how to use that for contouring. Um, I would even probably use it like under my eyes to set my powder. These, it doesn't feel too dense. So I think powder would work very well with it, loose powder. The handles seem pretty sturdy and they do have some weight to them. So we'll see how these go. Now onto our last item in our Glam Bag Plus, and then we can get into our makeup look. This is the Araceli Beauty Monarca Mascara with Avocado Oil. This is how it looks. Pretty packaging, modern, simple. You got that gorgeous, beautiful little butterfly on the front. It doesn't say whether it's supposed to be like lengthening, volumizing, or anything like that. So I guess we'll see once we try it and see by the wand. It just does say to use in a zigzag motion to reach every lash. This is also cruelty free. And then here is your regular packaging. Again, the beautiful little butterfly, the matte black. This looks like it could be lengthening because it is more of like a straight, flat type of brush. It doesn't have like the roundness to it like some of them have or the hourglass shape. It's literally just a straight wand. Now, the Glam Bag Plus, I absolutely loved it. I've heard people say they didn't like the Ipsy too much because it wasn't as curated as they wanted it to be like let's say someone who's into makeup wanted more makeup or let's say someone who's more into hair care wanted more hair care um i personally love a little bit of everything so i'm not mad at these bags at all especially the glam bag plus um i love the mix of different things you get this is a beauty subscription so for me i expect different things now with that being said let's go ahead and get into the bag and start trying on these makeup products like I said i did use the primer already so if you guys didn't see the clip skip back in case you did skip that part skip back and go watch the primer in case you do want to see the application and how it looks the first thing i'm gonna use 
is the Lottie London Powerful and Metallic Eyeshadow. Um, actually, the first product I'm going to use are the YC Collection brushes because I'm going to be doing a transition shade and then I'm going to be using this as a topper. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Phase Zero, the Necessities Eyeshadow Palette. It's a very neutral palette. I'm trying to go neutral today since we got a red lip and then we got that gold pigment. So this is what the palette looks like. First brush I'm going to take is the Packer brush, which is the Y04. And I'm going to go into this shade right here as our crease color. I did forget to set my base, so I'm going to do that off camera real quick. And then we'll jump straight into the palette and the brushes. For base, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in 845 Warm Beige. Now we're going to put that brush down and take the next one, which is the blending brush, the Y03. And we're going to use this and dip into this kind of peachy shade right here. And we're going to use that to blend out the brown. But now we're getting into our Lottie London. I'm going to go ahead and use this Packer brush. I don't know the name or the brand. This was like an Amazon brush I got. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use this and dip into it. Ooh, that goes on nice with a brush. Okay, okay. So that is how the metallic, my advice is to work in small sections and to use a little at a time and then build it up as you go. Uh, like I said, I don't know how much fallout there could be with this because I'm going in such small sections and I'm picking up a little at, at a time. But um, I honestly do love the color. It's very pretty. I love how pigmented and creamy it goes on as you guys can see it looks like there's no patchiness it has a beautiful sparkle and it's just everything it is honestly very easy to use with the brush especially if you're going for more of like a cut crease look like i did um even though i didn't use concealer i still feel like it did a pretty dang good job another trick i did just realize is if you're using a brush then i would recommend kind of like packing the color down into the pot as you're picking it up and that'll pretty much one what it looks like it's doing is it pretty much does the same thing as it does on the eye when you're packing the color down is it'll make it more creamy keep packing it like that and then when you're ready to put it on your eye just dust it off get any excess you still will get a little bit of fallout but that's just a little trick in case you guys need to help yourself out a little bit because it can get messy it definitely can i'm gonna go ahead and do my waterline off camera and then we'll get into the mascara for waterline i'm gonna use the ruby kisses 24 hour eyeliner this is the waterproof eyeliner and glittery and glittery gold now we're hopping into the mascara the arcelli beauty Monarca mascara with avocado oil. I am gonna curl my lashes and then we're gonna get straight into the lash application. Okay, so this is how one side looks with mascara and then the other without both top and bottom. It doesn't look clumpy, so that's good. It does define, not too much on lift or curl. If you're not into like thicker, creamier mascaras, then I would say this is not for you. I personally don't mind it though. Um, I like it and I like how it looks. So I will do my other eye off camera. I'm also gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner off camera. For liner, I'm gonna be using the Ruby Kisses Color Liner in black. I did forget to add my inner corner highlight, so we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna take this shade right here and we're gonna use that for our inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush for my highlighter, which is the Y05. 
And for highlight, we're gonna use the Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. This is my Maybelline in the shade 100 Molten Gold. Add some on my nose. So far, I do like this brush. Uh, it doesn't pack on color too harshly. And what, I, but, and what I mean by that is some brushes can pick up product right away. If you really push down into the highlighter, then you can get it packed if you like that style. But I like to kind of build up because some highlighters aren't as pigmented, some are, and I don't want to look crazy. So I do like this as a highlighter brush. Uh, it goes on very smooth and like I said, I do like how it not packs on the color, but it can build it up. Now I do wanna swatch the full Ritual Balm Gloss uh, that I was telling you guys about. And then we're gonna put on our liner and add the Basic Beauty lipstick. But just to show you the color, that is very pretty. And it looks like you can kind of build it up a little bit, not too much. But um, that's a pretty color. Again, very fall-like shade, so beautiful, beautiful. Now, for lip liner, I'm gonna be using the Italia Deluxe Makeup Ultra Fine Lip Liner in the shade Rich Red. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our basic beauty lipstick in fall for you. So it looks like it could be more of a satin because it does look kind of matte, but it's not like completely matte. But I do love this color. It's so pretty, perfect full lippy. It went perfect with the lip liner. The formula feels really rich, but still creamy. Not 100% buttery, but definitely creamy. Um, I just, I love it. I love it. I love everything about this lipstick. It doesn't feel like waxy. There's no smell at all as you guys can see it went on just just look at that just so smooth so smooth absolutely love it mm, that's a beautiful color basic beauty you got me with your lipsticks i need some more maybe one day we'll get on their pr list anyway guys so that is pretty much it uh for the products in these bags we used them all up and I loved them. I can't wait to use the skincare portion of them, but this is the final look. Again, we went simple because we had a lot of like gold. I'm guessing because we're stepping more into fall, it's supposed to be more of like a, uh, what do you call it? Fall box, duh. My brain was just not working right then and there, so ignore me guys. But um, I loved the bags this month. Tell me what was your favorite product in these bags this month, in the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus, if you had a favorite in each one. Again, let me know if you guys have tried any of the products that maybe I haven't used or even the ones I have, and let me know your thoughts on them. Some of my favorite products, I'd have to say, of course, the Basic Beauty Lipstick and the brushes. And with that being said, as always, we'll see you back here next Thursday. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Later, guys.